Hey there, this is Heather and welcome to Civilization 6. Today we are going to be playing with the new civilization, Babylon, that just came out literally a couple minutes ago. And I'll get into more about Babylon in a minute, but right now I just want to show you the settings for this game. So I will be playing on standard difficulty, Prince difficulty on a small map. I'm going to be playing on a continents map with abundant resources. Everyone's going to have a legendary start position, standard everything else. Um, for the map, we will be playing with the new heroes and legends mode, which is exciting. I also have secret societies mode in enabled because I love that. All of the victory conditions are enabled. The other things are the same as normal and yeah, I think we are ready to start. So, uh, let's start the game. Okay, so Babylon is a very interesting civilization. It is unlike any other civ in the game. So, let's talk about that. So, features and abilities. Um, this unique ability, uh, Ninu Ilu serum um, when each specialty district type except the government plaza is constructed for the first time receive the lowest production cost building that can currently be constructed in that district for free receive an envoy when any other di district is constructed for the first time and a second ability is what is this enuma anu and Lil, I don't know, but Eureka is provide all of the science for technologies and you get 50% less science per turn. So you get a 50% science penalty on things that you are researching yourself and you really need to get the Eurekas in the science tree to be getting those technologies in an efficient way. And I am not an expert on doing that. I don't have them all memorized. So we don't really actually know how well this game is going to go. It's not a sure thing. He also has a unique land unit, which is good against cavalry and a unique building, which replaces the water mill. So let's start. Let's play this. Let's see how it goes. I could lose. This is not a guaranteed thing. This, I am not one of those channels where we're playing on deity difficulty, guaranteed to win no matter what. And you're just like waiting, you know, to see how I do it or whatever. Like I could lose, like we might need to restart this challenge. So let's get to it. If you want to leave me comments and suggestions in the comments section, you should definitely do that. Also, liking the video would really help me out a lot. And so would subscribing because I'm a new channel and I really need that uh, boost. So let's get started. See where this takes us. See how well I can do. And uh, if anything interesting happens, let's go. Okay, so this looks like a pretty good start already. We have some mountains here, which would provide some nice defense for us. We've got some production tiles over here. We've got a luxury, a strategic, well, I guess it's just a bonus resource. And we've got some wheat over there that we can put a farm on and boost irrigation. So that is looking pretty good. Let's head over here with our warrior and take a look around the bend. Okay, now, there is a tribal village right there, which may give us a technology boost, which would mean it would give us a free technology. So let's cross our fingers for that and found our first city. Okay, so we have founded Babylon. It will take eight turns to grow. And let's see, what do we want to produce? Well, we'd obviously... Um, like to get some more growth we would like to get mining and all that stuff but i think i'm going to start with animal husbandry hopefully we can find some horses and we need animal husbandry to 
improve this ivory. So let's do that. And this is one of those tacks that doesn't have the ability to be boosted by anything. So researching it is not going to be a waste for us. So let's get started on that. And what are we going to produce? Well, I think a scout is really important because the more things we can discover on the map, like natural wonders and tribal villages, the more chances that we have to get techs for free. So let's start with a scout, probably get a few scouts, at least two. And what do we get here? We discovered a hero already, already. That is exciting. So I'm not going to try to pronounce this, but they're the twins. And I guess they're Mayan or something like that. So let's see, what does it say? Legendary athletes and heroes of the Maya. Okay, so they are the Maya. Renowned for their power over death and the underworld. So the twins resurrection. Any ordinary land unit killed by them is resurrected under your control with full HP and movement. And it ignores movement penalty in woods and rainforest terrain. Okay. So that is interesting. Its lifespan is 30 turns. It's got a 30 melee strength. Well, that is pretty cool. Maybe we can use that against barbarians. And we have unlocked writing. We can already get a campus. That's fantastic. So that's been completed. Really cool. We got a tech and a hero, I guess. Like where we've discovered this one. I don't know. How does this work? Do you buy it in your city? I guess that's like probably how this goes. And we've got a scout right there. I don't know how that works. How do like how do we actually get the hero? I guess we will find out in a couple of turns when the scouts finish. So I'm not that worried about it. Now we could get rid of that camp, but I want to see what happens with this hero and if we can actually get them. So you do heroic tales. So we need a monument. It looks like that's what the issue is we get a monument and then we'd be able to get our hero well let's well i would like to work on that but actually i do want to get another scout and it'll only take four turns to get another scout so let's do that and let's scout over here in that direction and let's like uncover the last couple of tiles over here Take a peek. Okay, so we've got more amber right there. It is in range of our capital. And let's see, what do we want for direction over here? Okay, we've got a tribal village right there, which could be yet another tech for us, which is exciting. And we don't really need this guy to look over there anymore. So I guess we'll try to get rid of that barbarian camp. Okay, we've been granted a builder. That's great. We're still working on animal husbandry, so I can't improve the ivory yet. And we can't get lumber mills. You don't have that tech. So we're going to have to wait on something to do with this guy. So let's just have him take a snooze and... Let's like see what's over here next. Is that a lake or a coast? It is a lake. All right. Gonna make our way over and let's have him get up on that hill. Oh, we have discovered a natural wonder. Well, that is beautiful. It looks like those sand art things, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we can appoint a governor. Well, I think we should probably get Magnus. Put him in Babylon. In and we have unlocked astrology. And we've gotten... Okay, well, I think that's already the same thing. So we have access to the Hermetic Order now. 
from discovering that natural wonder. I would really like to settle that natural wonder immediately. So we should definitely get going on that. It'd be nice if we could get another governor title so that we wouldn't lose any population when training the settlers. So let's see if we can do that. And let's also promote the scout. I would like, I think faster movement on hill terrain would be good. There's not really a lot over here as for like mountain or not not mountains um as for like forest and rainforest so i think that would be the best choice and let's work on our settler hopefully we can get another governor title you know before the settler is done but i don't think that's really like super important and let's see how did our war warrior do on that well, his health definitely took a hit. We can have him heal up a little bit next. And how's this looking? Okay, so there's some more amber over here. There's crabs. We could get a harbor right there if we built a city. That would actually be really great. So let's scout around in this area and see if this would be a good place to settle a city. And this scout, what does he want to do? You know, I think I want him to check this area out over here. There's some tobacco and sheep over there. And there are pearls over here. There's a lot of stuff that we could benefit from. So let's fortify this warrior until healed. You go over there, Mr. Scout. And you. Okay, so there are mountains right here. This would be a very defensible position. I'm not sure how many workable tiles there will be once we have figured that out, but only one way to know. All right, and I don't want my scout to get killed, so let's just move a tile in that direction. Okay, so we have discovered Cahokia, and we are going to have to settle right next to Cahokia, basically, if we want to settle this area, but it would be a really great harbor. The adjacency would be insane. So I think that is definitely somewhere we want to settle. And I still want to settle over here as well. Let's see what there is to be seen. Um, yeah, you can't walk over that, dude. So just skip a turn for now. And let's see. I want to get around to Cahokia. Can we stop here? Okay, we didn't trigger anything bad by doing that. I forget how that works. Let's see. All right. I have to cross the river on the next turn. I wonder, like, how big is this mountain range? It's quite extensive. Okay, Code of Laws. Let's get disciplined because we need some extra unit combat strength and fighting barbarians. That's definitely something we need. And I think we also could benefit from God King. Um, we have a very small gold income, but we do have one. However, we don't have any faith at all, like whatsoever. So let's let's get that. Our warrior is healed up. Let's attack this guy. It would be a good thing to get rid of that slinger. But I don't know. I'm taking I'm taking a calculated risk here. Okay, let's choose our civic to work on. And it's hard to know what to do. I guess we should probably get craftsmanship. That makes sense. We still don't have animal husbandry. We can't build camps yet, but that'll finish in three turns. And that's not good. We've got a scout over here. I would like to get rid of him. So gonna have to work towards that. Well, he seems to be going to this camp, which I'm planning on destroying. So the slinger is in there now. Let's attack him. Slingers are squishy, but didn't do as much damage as I would have liked. Okay, we found a volcano and some more ivory and pearls over here. That is a very extensive mountain range. 
So where would we want to settle a city? I would like to get these pearls and this natural wonder. Maybe right here would be a good location. Um, building a harbor would be really weird on a lake, so I don't want to do that. I don't really want to plan for that kind of a thing. Um, so we could just like settle right there. There'd be a um, maze and this ivory is in range of that city. But our capital has missed it. So we could get this ivory if we settled right there. And we get the two pearls and the natural wonder. Or we could settle here on this tile. And if we settle there... I don't know, I guess it's kind of kind of a toss-up. That would be a good a good tile to settle, I think. I might want to put a pin on that. I might lose this warrior. I hope not, but it might happen. Okay. That's not the best. We've got a promotion available. Thank God. Let's get that. Let's get Battle Cry. And hopefully we can finish this off on the next turn. That might be a little bit tough though we might need two turns to do it and i am concerned about these barbarians frankly so we should get working on our unique unit i think i would like to get that monument so that's tough i don't really know um okay so it would take me 12 turns to get a hero but the hero would only live for 30 turns so I have to keep that in mind. Let's just work on our unique unit first. So we should get some error score from that. And we should get our settler moving over here. So the game is suggesting that I build a city right here. But is that going to get me error score from settling near the natural wonder? That is my question. And if it doesn't, I will be kind of upset. So. It's also very close to my other city. So I'm actually, I'm not going to settle there. I really do want to settle over here. That's my preference anyway. So let's do that. Got our guys scouting around still. And you... You're going to circle around there. Who have we met? Oh, no. Oh, no. We've met freaking Rome. Well, dude, we've already discovered a hero. And our unique unit is available right from the beginning. You know what? Let's actually send him a delegation. I would prefer not to go to war with him. For obvious reasons, he's pretty aggressive. And I'm not prepared. I'm really not prepared. He's right there. Well, I don't know. I think I think things will be all right. It's Prince difficulty. It's not deity. So It would be really strange if I lost this, actually, come to think of it, because I don't usually, I don't think the difficulty is high enough for me to lose. But Babylon is completely different, and I don't really know all the Eurekas like other people do, so I don't have them memorized. And that's kind of like the thing about it that makes it questionable as to whether or not we will be successful so all right so we cannot circle around because that is coast we can go this way though and let's see it would take 96 turns to research currency well we're not going to be doing that we're going to be researching the techs that don't have boosts so let's get pottery and I should probably take a look at the tech tree in a second. That would be really sad if my warrior was killed by a scout. Okay, so we've got bronze working. And now we've revealed iron and we do have... 
iron in range, one right there. And we're going to settle next to this iron on that spot. So we're definitely going to have iron and we should settle another city over here. Why don't you heal up? And there are two barbarian scouts right there. It'd be nice if Rome would deal with that. I think that's their problem. Let's go right there. It's annoying that he's standing on that tile. All right. And we've got four error score for our unique unit. Let's have him head this way. We do have all of those barbarians around the place. There's another coast right there. Prom's got to get out of here. They're really in the way. All right, let's choose our production. So we could get another unique unit. We could get a settler. I think a settler is pretty important. I would like to get another governor title. How can we get another governor title? Looks like it's not going to be happening anytime soon. We do need more population. So let's get a settler. That seems about right. And we're going to settle this city. And we did get the error score from the natural wonder because we were right next to it. Didn't risk that. And let's see, what do we want to produce here? Might be good to get a military unit or we can get a builder. We do have a builder right now. He's kind of far away and we have other things to do with him. Let's see, how much would it cost me to buy one? More than we have. All right. Well, we should probably start working on the monument then. So we're going to do that. All right. You're going to go up here because I don't like that scout or this camp. And there are more pearls over there. We do have abundant resources, so I probably shouldn't be surprised. All right. Another barbarian camp. I feel like barbarian camps are an abundant resource in this particular game. Oh, a horseman. A barbarian horseman. Well, that's just fantastic. We have our, our unique unit, which is an anti-cavalry unit. But still not really what I'm looking for here. Maybe we should delay the settler and get another one. I think that's probably the best idea. And actually, we did get animal husbandry, so... I think it's time to improve that ivory and let's go right here. All right. Hopefully they don't attack my scout. Um, a horseman attacking a scout really wouldn't be a great situation. And it happened. I guess I really shouldn't be surprised. I'd like not to lose that unit. It didn't really do as much damage as I was thinking it would do, but we do have the discipline card in our government. So that probably helped us quite a bit. And let's see, let's go around this way, I think. Another horseman. What on earth is this? This is supposed to be Prince Difficulty and they've got horsemen, two horsemen and a spearman and a scout out of one barbarian camp on turn 25. That is crazy. Be nice if Rome would actually like help out with this problem. And we've got access to horses right there. Okay, we can win a major victory, supposedly. All right, that guy's mostly done for. Let's see if we can uh, take off with our scout. We're going to get that tribal village in the next turn. Oh, we've got another scout right there and a, that camp. Well, all right. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that dude's done for. 
And the horseman chased my scout all the way over here and screwed up my plans of getting that tribal village, which could have been a new tech for us. Let's clear out that camp. Got plus three air score. And we should fortify here, even though we're a good, strong unit. I don't want to lose it, even though it didn't take that many turns to train. That would just really set me back. So we're going to have another unit in the next turn. All right, so that horseman's been damaged pretty well. We have a promotion available. Let's get this guy headed up there. Let's take a look at this. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Misclick. Well, let's promote you. So let's get Battle Cry. And let's take a look at this unit. That is really interesting. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are very ornate shields. And helmets are pretty cool. They look like question marks. Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay. So I think we should go back to trading our settler. And what do I want to do with you? I think we're going to scout in this direction. We're still dealing with those barbarians right there. We might take some damage, but he doesn't have a promotion on him, so he might be okay. I hope he's okay. Okay, so he thinks that we've got some wide-reaching empire. Maybe he just has a really small empire. My unit has been captured by barbarians. That is unacceptable. We're going to have to deal with that immediately. Immediately. You get in my city, dude. I know we're leaving the other one to like fend for himself, but he's probably going to have to do that. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, he's down. He's down. We have been victorious. Let's continue to scout around Rome and see what they've got going on. Um, apparently, they're friendly with us. Let's see if we can declare friendship. Yep, we can. Great. Um, he doesn't have any luxuries. He's got very little gold. We have nothing to do on that trading screen. I really want to get my builder back. Okay, so I have had a rather catastrophic game crash with this new content, and we are now on turn 33. Unfortunately, my autosaves did not go back far enough. Um, so we're on turn 33 now. Nothing has really changed. Um, yeah, nothing was really missed. Like, not a lot's really happening at this point. So hopefully no one's too bothered by that. Let's reclaim our scout. Or not our scout, sorry, our builder. Okay, and then we're going to get our unique unit to go back over here because we really need to clear out that camp. Get that out of the way so we can find a city on that exact spot. And let's heal up our unique unit. I think it would be good if our scout healed up too. Don't really want him to get killed. So, all right. We're currently working on mining. Just trying to remind myself where we are and we are working on state workforce. After this settler is built, then we will have a campus being built. So we should be able to boost that without a problem. And we can't complete these civics with um, Babylon's like unique ability it only works for the tax so it's fine that we're putting research into that right now so let's see I'm gonna move this guy a little bit closer and have him fortify and we're gonna get that camp on the deer let's get this tribal village we've got one new population would have been nice to get something else but all right Okay, so we've met Coupe of the Maori. And will you tell me about yourself? All right, well, it's an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. Hopefully you don't have any war-like, you know, ambitions against us. Because um, we're not prepared for that right now. 
but hopefully he isn't either. So let's see. That scout is uh, going to be a problem, I think. I don't really uh, like the fact that he's escaped. Let's buy a tile here. I want to get, let's see, we don't have mining yet. We're working on that. Let's get this horse tile. We were going to get it, you know, just in a few turns, but I'm impatient about that one. And I'm going to have the settler settle this tile right here. Actually, if we settled on the coast, we could boost sailing. So maybe I should alter my plans just a little bit and have him settle on this tile instead. That seems like a good idea. All right. Well, I was not prepared uh, to see a barbarian ship attacking us, but that is what has occurred now. Um, yeah, I'm not liking that. Why don't you go over here and heal? <laughs> because you're not going to get any healing done there. And the settler needs to get out of my way. Builder, onto the horses, and let's see. I want my unique unit to heal another turn. I'm going to have that warrior Skip a turn, not get too close by himself. And all right, so that Quadream has um, gone back into the fog of war. This guy is not really strong enough to take on the Spearman by himself. It's going to take a number of turns to kill him. So I really don't want to move him prematurely. Let's have you continue to move over in that direction and let's get those horses online. So we get plus one air score and we've got horseback riding completely researched just from building this pasture, which is exciting. And let's see, are you ready? I think you're ready. I think you're ready. And let's move our warrior here. So we've got a tribal village there. We're going to want to get that right away, but more importantly, we need to get rid of those barbarians because they're just going to continue to be a thorn in my side until we do. Okay, so, yep, we're accumulating horses. Well, we already know that. And let's attack. So I'm thinking, okay, this warrior is 20 strength. The warrior is stronger than our unique unit, which is... Kind of strange, but our unique unit is very good against cavalry. So it's not really benefiting us at the moment, but if other civs want to build horsemen, then it would be. I'm not really convinced that that's going to really help us in this game, but. Oh. The Maori are going to settle over here. All right. Well, let's take this guy out. I think we can do it. Oh, yeah. He is dead. And let's get that tribal village. Okay. So we have discovered a hero, um, a non sea. So. He's a demigod and traveler of African folklore, renowned for his wit and trickery. Oh, that sounds kind of exciting. He ignores the movement penalties in woods and rainforest terrain. And Anansi's tricks, used when located on a bonus or luxury resource. Anansi consumes the resource and generates 60 science and 50 culture. Oh, I heard about this guy in the live stream. Okay, so... Any improvement present is destroyed. It costs one charge. Well, how many charges does he have? He has six charges. Okay, so we could get quite a bit of science if we recruited him. And we definitely should do that. I'm not sure which things we're going to want him to, you know, be targeting. But I guess we can worry about that when we actually get him. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to do in this city? I think we definitely need a 
builder here, but the question is, do we want to do that right at this moment? Now, this was not a good city or a campus because it's plus one. And I'm not really sure what is made it into this recording and what is in um, the lost part of the game. So pardon me if I repeat myself. And let's see. Okay, I think we should probably... Wait, what is this heroic tale? Let's discover a new hero in only 10 turns. Really? We could discover yet a new hero if we wanted to spend 10 turns on that right now. I don't know that we want to do that. Um... But you know what? We could get Anansi. I think that would be a good idea. Let's try to get Anansi. When is this era over? Um, okay, so 10 to 21 turns. So we have enough time to use him. We should probably get him. And you can recruit him once an era. So that's actually a really huge benefit that we could get. And he's not military related if we got an ANSI. So that's pretty useful. And let's see. I don't know. Well, I guess we could see what Coupe has going on here. But I don't really know that that's super important for us. So I'm not going to do that right now. And let's get the... Yeah, we can't get the Free Settler. But we can get Divine Spark. And Divine Spark is going to be super important for us as Babylon. Because we can get boost to things by getting great people. So if we get great scientists, if we, you know, this isn't going to help with great engineers, but in general, if we got like, you know, great engineers, if we got, you know, a lot of different great people, we'd be able to boost things or get techs or whatever. So I feel like that's important, especially the great scientists. So we have made progress towards mysticism. Does that mean we've gotten mysticism or was that a civic i think it's a civic yeah all right so that's a civic and let's give our scouts some orders um i don't really know where i need you to go i think maybe we want to explore over here around rome why don't you just like step up there and we definitely need to heal up but why don't you move one tile and then heal up Gonna make our way over here. I don't really think there's a lot happening over there, but we'll find out. Okay, now if I settle on this tile, we could get a really great harbor here, which would definitely benefit us. And we could also get the boost to sailing, which would give us sailing. So let's do that and ignore where it's telling me to put it because that's not really gonna be as good for us. All right. Yep. We have chosen to settle there and we've got sailing. That's fantastic. Now we can improve the pearls and the amber. And let's choose something to produce. I think a builder would be a great thing to get to start this city. How much money do we have? It looks like we can purchase a builder. So let's actually do that. And the growth in this city is not terrible. It's not terrible, but it is going to be a problem. Um, we don't have any growth tiles unless I wanted to buy that crab. And really, that one's not a fantastic tile for growth. So instead of getting the monument right now, um, let's get the granary. I think that would be a good idea. And next turn. When you find yourself in a okay, so we have unlocked mining. And there's that barbarian warrior. Not too keen on that. I definitely need some more builders for my civilization. So let's see. Now, it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to boost archery. So I think that would be the best thing for us to research. Because it is definitely possible for me to improve to sea resources, farm a resource get a trade route. We're definitely going to get an iron mine. We're definitely going to get a quarry. And we are going to mine a resource because we're going to mine iron. So let's get archery. And can I buy another builder? 
I can. I can buy another builder. So we're going to do that. That'll allow us to get that iron even faster. And let's have our warrior head over here while we continue scouting. And we can get one of those sea resources right now. It'll also give us a luxury. So we should we should do that. And it will give us plus one food. All right, so we've got one sea resource. We only need one more to get that particular boost. And the Barbarian is attacking my scout. There's a major drought and has damaged two tiles. It's pillaged our horse tile. Well, I'm not happy about that. Let's uh, have our scout go over here. Oh, Rome is kind of in the way. I just want my scout to live, Rome. That's all I want. Okay, so right now I could get the pearls and finish that boost or I could just get the iron. I think we should start accumulating iron. I think that's more of a priority. And let's continue to scout. Let's get that quarry that we need on the next turn. And the barbarian is continuing to attack my scout. Okay, we have recruited a Nazi and we've got plus two error score for doing so. And we've boosted state workforce. So we did finish that. Um, go over here. Oh, we can't go over there. And he can't move there either. All right, so we have a Nazi and he's going to destroy the resource, completely destroy whatever resource he goes on to. So maybe we should use him to target something in a territory that does not belong to us. I think that would be a good idea. And unfortunately, I cannot embark with all units yet. So I don't have shipbuilding. Um, we can get our mine right now. It'll definitely increase our production. We've got wheel and iron working. That worked out nicely. Okay, well, you're going to clear this out, hopefully on the, well, not on the next turn, but starting, starting on the next turn. And we should probably get another monument going in here. We obviously need to repair this tile. So maybe that should be a priority, but I feel like we can probably do that with this builder. So I want to get the monument going because these monuments are really going to help us get those heroes recruited. And this city doesn't have like any growth really at all going on. So I think that um, it would be a good idea to get a granary. Um, it would take 11 turns to get a builder in the city and I don't really want to wait for that. So let's work on that. And here we're going to get the quarry. Now we have masonry. We can build walls just like that. This is pretty cool. I'm liking this sieve. Oh, and we have found Beowulf. Okay, so let's read about him. Beowulf, mighty warrior of the far north, renowned for his strength and bravery in single combat. He's rugged. He ignores movement penalties in hills terrain. And Beowulf's challenge, target an adjacent enemy unit with combat strength less than Beowulf's. Beowulf immediately destroys the target, costs one charge. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. We don't have any need for him right now because we're not in a war, um, but we could recruit him and use him against barbarians. Oh, OK, so this says we have claimed him. So we actually do need to recruit them in order to claim them, it looks like. So we should probably do that as soon as we can then. And you can't attack on this turn. So. Yeah, we need to definitely have monuments wherever we can. That's what it's looking like. If we want these heroes, then we really need to do that to prevent the other civs from getting them. All right, and we have a promotion available. Yeah, our scout didn't survive this whole thing. That 
barbarian was just really set on an annihilating our scout. There's really nothing we could do. Um, all right. I'm just going to skip the rest of the movement on that guy. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to move this builder somewhere else. We have other things we need to do. Like I need to repair that pasture and we need a farm. We really need a farm. We have no growth going on in this city. So that's definitely a priority. And I'm going to move on to, well, that's a kind of a risk, right? So that uh, quadrium could go over here and attack us. Well, it might be safer though. I mean, what are the chances he's actually going to do it? Probably pretty good, but we'll find out. We'll find out. And yeah, I'm not really so interested in Cahokia. I want to see what's over here. Okay, so I've got some new policies we could get. Do we want to get any of them? I'm still fighting the barbarians, so that's not really going to help us too much to get rid of that. I don't have a holy site. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a religion, but we actually really need to. So I'm going to keep God King, actually. If we get a religion, we can use faith to get great people. And that will definitely benefit us. And Anansi, I'm going to have you. Oh, so he has 30 ranged strength. But we're not in a war and we're unlikely to get into one right now. So it'd be better to use him, his charges in this era. Okay, so I'm going to build a farm. And we've got an irrigation just from building that farm. So that's fantastic. And let's see. So our guy really needs to heal up, but we can get a promotion. So that should do it. And let's see. We've got some options for civics. We could do foreign trade or clear barbarian outposts, which we've already, or military tradition rather. We've cleared the barbarian outposts already. So let's just get that. Um, I don't know how big of a priority that really is, but... I'm going to get provision on Magnus now so that we can get some more settlers. So I really want to do that as soon as this monument is done. And you're going to just wait there for a second. All right. So we've got a delegation from the Maori. And the Quadrium is back. All right, well, that's going to benefit us that he just attacked because now I can attack and clear him out. So we've got 50 gold plus three error score. We've discovered a society. We've discovered the Sanguine Pact. So we can get vampires if we want to. Which uh, secret society do you think would be good with Babylon? I'm kind of thinking that, you know, Owls of Minerva might be good. Because there's something in here um, about envoys, receive an envoy. So we could get, you know, even more envoys or really like max that out. But I'm not really very interested in Cahokia, to be honest. Like we might want to get them just so that they can't be turned against us. But I don't really see so much reason to be getting envoys. What do you think we should do? Okay, let's see what's over here. And there's Lisbon. They want someone to trigger an inspiration for drama and poetry. What would that require? Uh, build a wonder. All right, well, I'm not building a wonder right now. So I'm not sure if we're going to do that. Ooh, that's annoying. That's annoying. We really need, we really need a, a galley or something. Let's get this guy to back away from the spot. I'm not really sure where we want to put him though. What spot would be best? All right, now we're going to get these pearls on online. And Anansi can definitely get rid of the scouts we should do that 
That's pretty cool. He is like a pretty interesting looking character. Oh, uh, let's go over here. Lots more to discover. I don't know that our unique unit needs to follow him over there. I don't think that that's really necessary. Why don't you just go over here? Keep a lookout. But yeah, a Nazi looks pretty cool. At least from this side, you know, he's got those crazy horns on his head and on his arms. All right. And with that, I'm going to leave this part here. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and leave me comments and feedback and suggestions down below. I'd really appreciate that. And I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next part. Bye.